Hi everyone. In today's session we'll be looking at how we can reconcile and clear GRIR items in SAP using Windshuttle and StatementMatching.com. The GRIR or GRIV account is an intermediary clearing account in SAP for goods and invoices in transit. Essentially it is the value of goods receipted awaiting an invoice or the value of goods invoiced awaiting a goods receipt. The first step to reconciling and clearing using Windshuttle and Statement Matching will be to upload the supplier statements to statementmatching.com where they'll be matched to invoice data. And looking at statementmatching.com, the user typically logs into statementmatching.com and selects the search screen, as you can see. The supplier statement has already been uploaded and the statement lines are matched into the invoice data uh, in SAP as and when the user starts using different search input search variables like the company ID, the supplier number and the different document statuses. Thereafter the search results are presented and each row is typically the supplier's statement. If the user double clicks on any of the lines um, they'll be able to view the details. We'll be focusing primarily on Mill Creek Manufacturing vendor number 2089 so once I double click this particular vendor, the detailed view shows the results of the statement match with the status for each statement line visible. The statement shows the supplier's statements on the SAP system and confirms there are no other unmatched invoices, which means we can confidently go ahead and clear any GRIR items. Which leads us to the next step, which is actually to extract these particular reconciliation results from SAP into Excel. I log into my SAP system. And as this logs in, I'm going to go into my to run a custom report that's already been developed for this. I can enter my company codes, my specific vendor account number 2089 um, and I'm going to select my report variant here as well. And as the data is extracted, you can see it's actually showing me the data for this particular vendor, all the relevant purchase orders, and the quantities received, the quantities, the value receipted, and the invoice amounts and quantity, as well as any variances, as well as the posting dates. So I can go, go ahead and select all and extract this data, which I've already done, into my Excel template, as you can see on the screen. And the next step would be to record your Windshuttle script. Now, I've already gone ahead for demo purposes and recorded this Windshuttle script using the transaction code MR11, which we're going to use to clear these particular GRIR items and post changes into SAP using Windshuttle. So I've got my relevant um, data on my screens. I select my Windshuttle add-in where I'm hovering my mouse uh, and I've got both my transaction and query which is used to upload data and download data selected. So when I select my specific capability using Windshuttle to upload this particular data, um, my tab on the right has opened up. I'm going to choose to begin from start row 2, start clearing the, the these GRIR items from row 2 to the end of the sheet. And I'm going to go ahead and process this now. So I log into my SAP system. And I've got my username and password which will be checked against my SAP security authorization matrix to make sure that this particular user is actually allowed to process transaction code MR11. And on my bottom right hand side you can see some messages coming across from Windshuttle. So it's now logging into the SAP system. 
and shortly it will begin processing each line item on the screen. This particular transaction code MR11, once you process it, doesn't actually give you the document numbers automatically back and when we process it using WinShuttle, we get uh, the message, this particular message, no message returned from SAP. And what we'll do as soon as it's done clearing all this information that we've got on the data file, I will actually run WinShuttle query to extract the GRIR account numbers, the document numbers rather, that have been generated as a result of the information we've seen on the screen. At the bottom you can also see that it's actively connected to this particular SAP WE6 system. And it's processing row 21. Okay. I'm going to go now, go ahead and actually extract the GRIR document numbers from SAP for those particular purchase orders that um, I had previously mentioned in the data file. This is my input variable. Now in this case I've just said look for all the GRIR document numbers for purchase order numbers in this particular data file. So go ahead. And as you can see on the screen now, the relevant purchase order numbers and the relevant GR. Um, document numbers that were generated in SAP as well. So essentially we've cleared the GRIR items that we identified uh, using um, statementmatching.com. We extracted that data into Excel and we used WinShuttle scripts um, to upload that data into SAP, clear it and also obtain the relevant GR document numbers from SAP. So in short, a very simple and easy four-step process. Uh, I should also mention that once you record the WinShuttle script, um, you don't have to re-record it every time you use it. You can use that script to clear your GRIR items um, for any future times. Thank you very much.